are you here? In this type of introspection, you know what you're experiencing. You're like a falling meteorite. You're burning off as you go. As you come towards that landing place, you're already evaporating. There's nothing left of you. Are you afraid to burn out? All the things that you identify with as being yourself, identifying with all these qualities which are themselves temporary, transient. Attaching oneself to the transient gives you the sense of mortality. Can you see or not? This body is a burning candle. Yet it is vital for this body to be there, for the consciousness to taste experiencing. But the body is not the sentience, it is not the root of the sentience. That which is operating in, make its home in this body for now, in order to taste, you know, to taste experiencing that which you call existence and life. That itself is life. What you call life, the story of life is issuing out of this eternal space. All the objects are appearing out of that space, in that space like clouds lying on your back looking at a blue sky. A little twirl and a cloud appears. From where did it come? It floats along in that expanse and again thins out and disappears. Where did it go? Everything is like that. So in that infinite expanse of being, you are watching all this play. You are watching the play of time and space and relationship coming and going, like the waves on the surface of the ocean. The ocean doesn't mind its waves. It's not confused by waves. How did confusion come? Because you, the beingness, you, the Absolute, manifesting as consciousness in this body, with that taste called I exist, I am, which nobody gave you. It's a package deal. It came in with the body. That sense I am, that godly principle inside this body, in whose presence this dream called existence plays. And furthermore, identifies with the instrument through which it is experiencing, and then calls itself the instrument, I am this body. And once it's formed the idea, I am this body, my name is John, I am a man, because the male body, these are my parents. Once this idea, I am this, forms, then innumerable other ideas got the visa to come through to join this idea. And these ideas become the realm in which the consciousness, the sense I am, which is pure and peaceful and spacious and invisible, that consciousness begins to hang out into the modification, I am John. This is me. And it is this this is me, I am the body, this is my person, this is who I am. Pride, arrogance is the domain. And this one arises due to so much trouble from its projections, then begins to seek. Such is the play of spirituality. All religions are coming out of this. It is the work of the One Consciousness is doing it, manifesting like this. If you come to the place of only the sense I am, as I was sharing yesterday, stay as the feeling I am, 
and don't allow this I amness feeling to play about with any other concepts. See if the I amness can remain only as I am. Just do it. Other thoughts will come knocking on the door of the I am. Come and play. Come, come, come. But you are not to follow them. Stay only in this I amness sense. Stay with that. And you will feel already tremendous presence. You will feel the power of that presence. How the I amness shines by itself. Unassociated being. And this arises as pure joy. This is the very nectar itself, this Amrit Ananda feeling of joy and space. And an intuitive knowing that you have no beginning and no end. You know this. It cannot be taught. It will reveal itself in this. You see? You're like a falling meteorite. You're burning off as you go. As you come towards that landing place, you're already evaporating. There's nothing left of you. Are you afraid to burn out? Behind all the manifestations and the infinite potential of all manifestations, in any era, hmm? this remains untouched.